it's been a massive part of my life. You know, I can't think of life without Everton, to be honest with you. So when you come out for your first derby experience, it was incredible. The atmosphere was, was electric. The place was jumping and uh, the emotions were flying high. And um, as it happens, I, scored, I managed to score my first goal over here in the Gladys Street. It was an incredible feeling and one that I'll never forget. Everton's fourth. The goal Ferguson. His first for Everton. All right, this was my starting position for um, my first goal for Everton against Liverpool. Come off the goalkeeper into this area. It's been a great, great in swinger inside. The goalie's come for it. I've managed to jump up through the crowd of players and get a nice touch on it, directing it towards the goal. I've turned in and I wheels away this way into the corner and I'm, I'm sliding away over there somewhere into the corner of the Gladys Street and the, the place is just erupting, you know what I mean? It was an it was unbelievable um, moment and it was the first goal in the game and it was, uh, you know, my first derby game. The other goal that uh, people talk about is, uh, is my Man United goal. So that was, um, that was for a different position. It was for the same, same um, combination. Andy Hinchcliffe, left footer, but this time I decided to stand back in the box. So I've, I've come further back and come for a deeper, deeper area. I don't know why, why I did that. I'm not sure if me and Andy spoke about it or it was just, it was just the way it was, it was, I decided to go to the back or I don't know if he spotted me. I've attacked it, I've managed to get away from my marker. And if the size of me, if you don't, if you don't mark me tight and you, you give me a run in it, the, the defenders have got no chance. So I managed to get away and I, and I managed to get the, you know, come in and get the, get the header on it. I've, I've wheeled away, run, and I've come down the side and, you know, I've, I've whipped off my top and I'm swung it around my head and everybody's screaming and I'm throwing my top around my head and everything. It was fantastic, man. I wasn't a, I didn't have much muscles at the time, you know what I mean? I was a wee bit embarrassed afterwards, but it was fantastic. Great, great day. Another uh, winner against Man United come for this area of the pitch. And we got a wide free kick, and um, I stood a bit offside here, and um, known full well that the defenders were going to come back to me. So I stood a bit offside. Michael Arteta was on the ball, knew he was going to put a good ball in. I knew they were coming back to me, and I didn't really need to do a lot, to be honest with you, because he put in such a great delivery. I've just managed to get across, and when the ball was coming in, I knew full well I was going to get my head in it. And guide it into the guide it into the goal. So that was uh, that was ten years after the the, the first goal, uh, which was the winner. And it was uh, it was nice to get that ten years later. It was towards the back end of my career. There was about forty seconds or a minute where everybody was just pressing the ball and the fans were screaming. And it were all just we just knew that this was this was going to be our night. We just knew that you know that something good was going to happen. It was just just it was going to happen in part of the game. And uh, the players all pressed. They attacked. And we managed to managed to get the free kick out there. But it, leading up to that free kick, it was unbelievable. I mean, the atmosphere was incredible. And of course, then we stick the ball in the net, and it was just the roof come off me. It come off. It was unbelievable. Shaking me. That was the, the, the I think it was running the best atmosphere I've ever felt in this gun was that night. Whoever 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 was there, they'd probably tell you the same. It was it was an unbelievable night. That. Got this ball in. It's a good one. It's in. It's his seventh career goal against United. It was a teasing ball in. Just keep your eye on Rio Ferdinand. It was the header from Ferguson. It didn't get a touch, it was true. And that is a brilliant, brilliant goal for Everton. The seat that I'm sitting in, that makes me really proud. This is, this is my daughter's seat. And uh, this is my, my, one of my son's seats. And this is my other son's seat. So my three, my three children, sit in this section of the Gladys Street. And that, that makes me incredibly proud that, uh, that, that we're all Evertonians and we all, come, we all go to the game and we, we all enjoy that experience. And my family are here in the stadium with me. When I sit over there, and I know my three kids are sitting over here, uh, it makes me incredibly proud that they're, they're a part of the, the experience and a part of the Everton family. Well, coming back here as a coach, it meant everything to me. I was absolutely delighted, you know what I mean? It was made up. It's been a massive part of my life. Um, you know, I can't think of life without Everton, to be honest with you. And um, to be here, sitting on the first team bench, watching the Blues play on a Saturday, it's, um, you know, it's a fantastic feeling. I mean, this is, this is, this is the, you know, I've got my family and I've got, I've got Everton. I love the place and it's just, it means 
everything to me to be a part of the club um, and to be a part of the fans and that feeling on a Saturday when um, you know you come out here and we're all in the stadium wanting the Blues to win. It's a tremendous, um, tremendous, a lot of power there and um, energy and it's, it's just, I feel a part of the Everton family and I feel a part of the fans and of course when we're celebrating that win you know there's nothing better. It's been a massive part of my life.